Sprint added 1.2 million new customers in its fourth quarter, but paid a high price to acquire them. The wireless carrier reported larger than expected losses of $224 million, or six cents per share. Revenue also came in below estimates, falling almost 7% to $8.28 billion. The growth in subscribers helped Sprint regain its position as the third largest wireless carrier over T-Mobile. The company cut user bills and offered promotions to tempt customers away from Verizon and AT&T contracts. But the carrier rate of cash burn at Sprint has caused some concern amongst analysts as the company raced through $914 million this quarter. Sprint stock has gained about 24% this year behind T-Mobile, which is up around 27%. For The Street in New York, I'm Amelia Martin-Hempel.